I like Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly. Really excited about this activity. Um, I've come across this app called Coder Game, which is the one down the bottom right hand corner. And I think this would be brilliant for young kids experimenting with different elements and attributes of games, starting to introduce them to game design and how you can change uh, the user experience. And um, kids love playing games, but often they won't know the different things that go into a game. Um, you can also work this in with a science curriculum as well, starting to look at things like um, simulations and actually um, control groups and actually altering, altering parameters and different things. So th there's always some cross-curricular things that we need to do. Um, I, I do love this app, but there's also some elements here that um, I'm kind of wary of. Some of them are actually the names that you create and the kids create. Um, some of the things like the the purchases and, and different things I'm not too fond of. But let's, let's jump into it anyway and, and you can make your own mind up. So I'm going to create a new game. Um, I'm going to do the old whack-a-mole game. And so you can see here that at any stage, I can press the play at the top right hand corner and actually see how my game's going. And this, uh, this game is broken up into elements. So um, when I actually press the whack-a-mole, let's pre press play and I'll show you how this works. So when I press play, nothing actually pops up. Oh yes, he does. He gets it. He makes a little face and then goes down. It's going very slow. I'm not getting any points or anything there. So what I can actually do is start to actually add to this game. So what I, the first thing I might do is I might actually add some points. So when I actually hit that person, um, I'm actually getting some points for it. So if I press play now and I hit it, it gives me one point. Um, and then I can actually start to alter some other things. So I might actually in the actual game mode there, uh, let's start to play around with, uh, well you can play around with a lot of different things. Um, Let's see what these different things are here. What if I bring across, let's bring across uh, the speed maybe. And if I press that, we can actually select the game speed, make it a bit faster. So if I actually go there, press play now, you'll see that the whack-a-moles are coming up really quickly and it makes it a lot harder. It might actually make it too hard and it's a great discussion to have. We can do a whole range of things. We can create leaderboards and we can actually do um, a range of different things. You can actually do when the, um, when the little creature goes down, you can change that. Um, so there's a whole range of different things that we can do. I think it's a really brilliant app in regard to how it's been designed. Uh, once again, I think there's a few distractions in there and there's a few things about the app that I would change from an educational point of view. But I do like the fact that we can get our young students starting to think about um, altering attributes of the game to make it easier or harder, to make it um, actually playable or not, or actually impossible or not. And I think there's some really nice features there. So that's called um, Coder Game. Uh, bottom right hand corner, um, fantastic. Um, I really would like to use this in regard to um, just introducing kids to game design, uh, working in with the new digital technologies curriculum, looking at attributes of, of data and how we can manipulate data um, to bring about um, a systems result and do some different things there. So there's really some strong connections there. We just need to really look closely and see where they actually are. So this is Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly signing off. Hope you enjoyed that. That could be a new app that um, you've just discovered. Um, and there's some really uh, strong curriculum connections that we can make with it. Paul Hamilton here, signing off.